Hey guys, it's Snake Eyes. So in this video, we're going to go over the best talent for a 12 scale Anubis. So this guy literally has everything. This is my boy, Flusserus. He has a level 8 Nimble on top. He's also got a level 8 Survival. He's also got a Sacred Light and a Flame Guard. He's also got a Vital Boom, but I don't think that really would be the best for him. He doesn't offer him damage, uh, increased damage reduction. So we're going to just do these guys. So what he's working with on this Anubis is uh, obviously these talents. And for the he's got a 5 energy set. And he's got a bunch of dodge room as well. So that will actually help out the level 8 nimble. So first, we're going to test out Sacred Light. And then we're going to go ahead and go to uh, the uh, Flame Guard. And then go to Survival and then Nimble. And see if the Nimble can stack up to any of those. We're going to test these, uh, these guys out against 610. I think that's the best because then 510 uh, Anubis is getting stunned pretty bad. So let's go ahead and test out against 610. And see how fast this guy dies off. <laughs> Got him stun locked pretty bad too. But we're testing his uh how well he survived. So even we're really testing how fast he's killed off by these towers. So it's only one life right there. Okay, so so far so good for this one. Curious about the survival and the nimble. If the nimble will help uh, help him dodge these uh, towers. Alright. He's actually killing off most of these heroes. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to kill off most of these heroes. That'd be awesome. Be a really a new way to beat 610. If you're having trouble with 610. <laughs> of course, you put a 8 Holy Pact and uh, an 8 Sacred Light Anubis in the corner. And he's just going to wipe out most of everything. Except for these demons. So this one's almost down to a minute. Sorry, I had to breathe a little bit. <laughs> he already kills off most of these heroes, man. The only thing that's left is the demons. So let's see if the other one. So that was a minute about about a minute and five seconds. Okay. So pretty good for him. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the flame guard. Revive him. I know what you're thinking, we're like, why don't you just wait for him to revive and use the other? I'm like, it's not going to make a difference because he's not going to last. He's not going to be revived in three minutes, so really no difference. All right, so this is the Flame Guard. Again, like I said, we're, we're not testing how well he kills off heroes. We're testing how well he survives. This one's dying off pretty quick compared to the Sacred Light. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get anywhere close to where the Sacred Light got. I'm really curious about the survival. Yeah, this one's dying off so much faster. I wonder if he's going to make it to a minute and 30 seconds. Remember, the last one made it to him about a minute and five seconds. All right, so that was about a mi two minutes and four seconds. So definitely didn't did not uh, keep up with the uh, Sacred Light one. So now, go ahead and bring out the. Uh, I'm really worried, worried about the eight bottle boom. Let's go ahead and bring out the a uh, chain. Let's just go out with the eight nimble. So he, this is gonna help with the extra dodge. Do not want to put the elephant pet on him because that would be cheating. <laughs> so let's go ahead and. Test out 8 Nimble. This one's dying off even faster than the freaking Flame Guard. He's not really dodging anything. So, um, yeah, he's not really dodging anything. It's pretty, pretty sad, actually. He's not dodging anything. 
It's like it's like he has nothing on him. So for for Nimble, my best comparison for Nimble is Empower. So let's go ahead and check this out real quick, right? So bring this up in the talent compendium. Alright, so at level nine, or let's see, at level eight, right? Oh wait, grant sixty percent energy with attack, right? Alright, let's look at Empower. And that's every two seconds. Grants 33 energy per second in battle. So that's pretty close to uh, Empower. But with the added benefit of the dodge. So it's it's kind of close to the Empower. And then you got 80% energy. And then uh, 45% 45 energy. And then also increases the HP. So it really depends if you want to go for the extra HP. So I think Empower still beats it out. As far as... Uh, the better energy gaining talent. So, level eight, uh, nimble. I'm not really sure about as a main talent. I think it'd be better as a uh, insignia. But anyway, let's just go ahead and uh, jump into the last. Let's go ahead and jump into uh, testing this guy out with survival. And I think that it's going to be the same thing, honestly. Yeah, it's going to be the same thing, honestly. Uh, I think Sacred Light is going to take the cake in this one. Just like uh, pretty much every other hero. So, let's jump into 610 again. And see if survival can get close to a minute and uh, five seconds. Remember, it's three seconds. Oh, right, yeah, it's three seconds. And then a, it's pretty much just like a five second, uh, no, there's a four and a half second gap. It's 3.5 seconds, there you go. It's three point five seconds, and there's like a four and a half second gap where he's not doesn't have any protection. So he's actually surviving pretty well right now. He's actually uh, doing pretty decent. So survival has the added benefit of of healing, and he hasn't died. Well, let's see if he dies this time. It's gonna be close. There you go, died off one time. But definitely, he already beat. he's already going to beat out the uh, Flame Guard and the Nimble. So, already beating those two off. So, look, it's looking like Survival's a really decent talent on Anubis. And it's actually surprising me a lot because I was looking for, <laughs> for another place to put my... Because I have a Survival in the warehouse and I was looking for another place for it. And it looks like Anubis is pretty decent with it. Especially with it at level 9. Because uh, the, the difference between the level 8 and level 9 uh, survival is it goes from 1700% uh, 7, attack uh, and then to 2000. So instead of healing for 1700% uh, attack, you're healing for 2000% attack. So it's a pretty big difference. He's about to catch up to freaking Sacred Light. It's pretty nuts, man. Yeah. I wonder if we can finish this off with survival. I'm really surprised by this. I thought that he uh the survival would not be enough. The uh the cooldown would be too big to keep him alive and he'd really have no protection, but looks like I was wrong. Survival is pretty nice on freaking uh, Anubis. Plus, he's got the the other the other three also have the benefit of the Oracle Warden, so it's pretty nice. Let's see if he can make it to. He's got one more life. Yeah, he does. Let's see if he can make it to the to the end. The only thing left for right now is the demons. So, if you're free to play, and you put uh, if you're looking for a, a place for survival. Definitely Anubis. Because he will help you a lot in beating 610. This is ridiculous. <laughs> That's going to be a good snapshot. <laughs> so, survival. Wow. Okay. So, let's go ahead and jump into a raid against the same base and see if survival can do the same thing. So, my the other base uh, was... Uh, was a walk because the person hopped on so we can't attack them anymore. So we have to find another base to do this test on. Alright. 
There we go. Oh, same base as earlier, so this works out. And it's true, so that works too. Okay, so this is the flame guard. So testing the flame guard first, because that's where we head out. Dead. <laughs> Dead. 50 seconds. 45, 44. Alright, so 2 minutes and 42 seconds for the uh, flame guard. Now let's go ahead and test out the sacred light. And the last one we're going to do is the survival. Because that is the one that won the... Uh, the, the uh, test the last time. I don't know why I keep doing this. It's like literally one page after after Fluffs or Us. So. Alright, so this is a Sacred Light. And see how Sacred Light stacks up. So it looks like he's going <laughs> to die off like real quick right there. Forty-five, forty-three. Alright, it's two minutes forty-two seconds for the flame guard. So the sacred light's already beating out the flame guard. Alright, so that was two minutes thirty-five seconds. So the sacred light won that battle. Now let's go ahead and throw the nimble out there and then the survival last. Let's see if let's see if the survival can win this one as well. It's gonna change this. I wanna do survival last. And then one page after. All right. Thankfully, this guy has been staying off the entire time. I appreciate you, bro. <laughs> All right. Ouch. This is the nimble. Remember, <laughs> remember, this is the nimble. So the the sacred light lasted two minutes and thirty five seconds. The flame guard lasted two minutes and forty two seconds. So let's see if the survival can beat 2 minutes and 35 seconds. Alright, that was 2 minutes and 40 seconds. The Nimble actually outlasted the Flame Guard, so that's pretty cool. Now, last but not least, we're going to test out the survival. See if survival can beat 2 minutes and 35 seconds. We're not going to do this multiple times. Uh, we're just going to do it one and done. So we should be able to uh, gauge how well each talent is doing that way. So, But... The dungeon test survival <laughs> was pretty pretty much the winner. It's the only one that lasted. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I don't even think he's died yet. Ooh. This downtime though. Alright, so see if you can beat Sacred Light. Ooh, so close. So so close. So survival on Anubis. Pretty beast, pretty pretty beast. I think that it goes. It's a pretty close tie between survival and sacred light for rating, but for dungeons, it looks like survival takes the cake. Like hands down, he's the only one. Uh, survival Anubis is the only one that survived the entire time. So if you like, I said, if you're looking for a place for survival, Anubis is a pretty good here to put it on. Anyways, uh, hope you guys like this video. Hope it was very informational to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Snake Guys, and I'll see y'all later.